Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Creator and in this video we are taking a look at Nvidia stock and also other semiconductors. I'll take you high level AMD, ARM, Broadcom, SMC and Micron and then dedicated videos for those as well will be coming out throughout this weekend. But let's jump right into Nvidia. Let's talk about this thing. Once I also let you know none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. Please do your own thing. I'm just sharing here my opinion, nothing more than that. So NVIDIA is still trying to hold 20 days moving average and is still in that blue box above $123. As I said in my video yesterday, it's a make or break day for NVIDIA. So guys, it all comes down to if it can close strong above 125 At, the, at one point, it was above 125 Or is it going to go below 123 That still remains the case to be a deciding factor in NVIDIA. Until then, still trade intraday, even for a couple of days more, just trade intraday and just take profits whenever this any range you are trying to look at with these levels, just trade the range, take the profits. Yeah, just, just be cautious with NVIDIA. It's trying to find its direction. Either bulls are trying to you know, continue it's in the direction, but looks like sellers are not giving up. So, and that's, this is where uh, you gotta be a little bit careful, okay? Let it pick the direction with confirmation. Now, yes, we are above 20 days moving average, still, but is the strength enough? So let's go to the hourly interval. Oh, well, let's start off with the four, five minutes first. So you can see that today also when the market open it tried to go lower but then you can see it was still above our 123 dollars level and when you see the you know next minute candle is sorry next five minutes candle is just taking out the previous red candle there is you know definitely you can expect the upside so we got that upside but then it's again selling off getting weak again right on the lower time frame as well so sellers are present guys and it's actually being sold off so if i go to the hourly interval you can see that, and let me actually squeeze that in a little bit. Okay. And yeah, Nvidia sold off again where? At that underneath of 200 hours moving average. So yes, it's still just being an intraday play. Guys, just be careful, you know, uh, take profits or stop loss, whatever it is, whatever position you are taking, just but don't hold more than a day these days. Just trade intraday only. All right, so you can see it's now selling off again, right? Uh, that was at 200 hours moving average. So, and that that's the thing, right? Like the 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 bear, the sellers are still holding it below 200 hours moving average, but bulls are holding it above 123, thus making this a very choppiness, right, area. So, as I said, yeah, below 123, uh, you know, is a very strong break of the level to the downside but if bulls can hold it above 123 we definitely want to see a continuous upside above not just you know today's play was yes you know 125 and above and until 200 hours moving average this is where i said yes play as well take partial profits or what profits you want to take if that moves happen and then the strong definitely move would only come if nvidia can close for the upside above a day as well above 125 and 60 cents from where it is right now and otherwise yeah if we start to close below 123 then that's the weakness so it's uh, yeah it's still still towing around with traders okay so yeah give give it some more time to find its strong direction all right so that's nvidia let's take a look at high level at amd so amd i talked about if we continue above the blue box well technically this was the area I talked about 150 and 82 cents above this structure was back again bullish and today there was a good strong move that you know uh, amd gave to the upside technically it's still bullish but you can see what a sell off later t today but yeah if it can close above 20 days moving average and stays above blue box this can you know still continue its way higher but it's important to stay up here then arm all right selling off today so it is well it gapped oh well okay it went up selling off if it continues to lose 164 at least this this cool off can happen okay until 20 days moving average but that would be it nothing more than that um yet yeah, structure technically on this is still bullish so let this pullback happens just like before this pullback happens then got bought back up at the blue box 
let this cool off happens and then you can see 20 days moving average or 200 hours moving average on the lower time frame broadcom finally tried to show some strength today on that green thing and tried to go above one one of the level 16 17 let's take a look at hourly interval and then this thing gave up as well okay yeah it's uh, underneath our 200 hours moving average at this point if broadcom can start closing the candles of the day above 1618 area or 1620 area then some strong upside may come but otherwise no this thing may not all right so let's take a look at smci poor thing a sell-off day today on this so yesterday above 855 it was an upside play and unfortunately it's just not holding the level up here guys so if it's not holding the level up here well then yeah you should not be in the position anyhow whenever these levels break like 882 and 854 size out your position or you know if you were buying building position at the break of the level 855 when you start to see the level break 882 take partial profits out and when you see the next level break it's you have to decide if you got out fully out but structure i would not say it's fully bearish but just this one red candle is then negating the previous green candle right so as per the technical trading uh yeah you should not count too much on this red candle yeah it all comes down to if today it can close above 855 or the next day can it can get above 855 again but i would say trade it intraday only sellers are still holding a strong uh, supply zone on SMCI as well yeah you can see con continuous red 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 all hourly candles are red today so anyways I'll talk more about it later as well and micron so micron okay here's the thing so we had a follow through the you know the even rebounds right now are still being sold off this is the level you are watching 130 and 37 cents in this zone if you continue to lose it it can fall off to 50 days moving average uh, that's the next level to watch and if you lose that then more downside otherwise if it has to continue up from here it needs to continue holding 130 and then make its way slowly and slowly higher up from here i'll talk more about it when i do separate micron video as well later today nvidia yeah <laughs> now it's green as well a little bit yeah guys it yeah it, it comes down to this you know this area if it can hold it great if it can't too bad right that's that's what it is but yeah it's the it's the deciding area now um yeah all right that's it for this video guys if you found it helpful valuable please hit the like subscribe and i'll see you in my next videos take care bye one more thing guys if you are interested in following along my dividend investing channel link to this channel will be in the description below of this video this is where i'm building my public facing dividend based portfolio and I share weekly updates as well on how things are looking like, what is my, how my prof portfolio is looking like and all of that. If you want to follow along, please subscribe to this channel as well. And 